That's your cue, star talk. Oh, right, okay. Sorry. Okay, so we're doing some uh, green stuff rolling, and what we've got is uh, Fimo, Super Sculpey, and we're going to see the difference in the detail that it picks up. All right, we've done a lot in uh, Fimo, and it's not too bad, but we've never used the Super Sculpey that's been recommended, so we're going to see what the difference is um, on, the, on the green stuff rolling. The stuff you see before you is the uh, equipment that we're going to use. We've got the green stuff roller with the silicon rings, we've got Fimo, and we've got Super Sculpey. We've got a pasta maker, and all we're going to use that is to get it to an even uniform thickness. And over that, a scraper from Poundland. It's really good because it's a really thin blade. And the most important ingredient, flour. However, we're only using, we're using flowers because we don't have any talcum powder, which I, I think would probably be better because the granules are slightly, well, they're a lot smaller. And what that's uh, used for is to stop the foam roller sticking to the super scope, which we were having problems the first time we started. And a brew. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to cut the super scope into, and the final into little parts. Knead that up to get it nice and uh, malleable, bang it through the pasta maker, put it on the table, put some flour on it, do the roller, scrape it off, stick it in the uh, on the trays for the oven, and then bake it for 30 minutes. And then voila, we'll have some decent base material. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is we're going to cut the super scope. We've cut this one for this time already. That's the female. Sorry, that's the female, okay? So the female, put it in a little uh, more manageable chunks. Put the super scopey. <coughs> Actually, before I say anything, the final when you first get out is pretty hard. And it's very hard to um, knead, so it'll take a long time to knead that. The super scopey, as we've found, isn't actually as hard. It's a lot softer to begin with. Okay, so they're roughly the same sort of size. This stuff is a little bit more malleable to begin with, whereas this stuff is quite hard. So what we're going to do with the final is we'll stick it in the microwave for 10 seconds, take it back out, smooth it down, uh, knead it down a little bit, and then bang it in for another 10 seconds just to soften it up a little bit more. It says you shouldn't put it in the microwave, but I'm not cooking it, we're just heating it up. Whereas the, uh, the Super scopy is actually not too bad, but we'll do the same bit we'll only leave for 10 seconds. So what we'll do is we'll leave these to the side. And we'll do this. Makes your microwave smell nice. The super scopy probably won't need as much, but the final will definitely need 20 seconds or two 10 seconds to the so you get the final, and all we're doing is just kneading it down. Even then with 10 seconds, it's still hard, but it's a lot softer than it was when we took it out of the packet. All right, with 10 seconds on top of that, we'll sort it. Superscopy is a little less thick, but And the reason I'm doing it and squeezing it down rather than mashing it up is when we stick it through the pasta maker, it will go down and be nice and straight. I'll we'll find it in Super Scorpio for 10 seconds anyway, see what happens. Right. Yeah, you can definitely feel a little bit of heat on them, but not too much. So what we'll do is we will get that stuff out of the way. Press the pass the maker. What we'll do is just knead that out because you don't want to put it through massively thick. Just the thinner you can make it, the easier it is for the pasta maker to get it through the the rollers. Okay, so nice little square. This might not work as well as I want it to. Just point the ends a little bit. Stick it through. 
This is meant to be clamped down, but the table won't allow us to do it. Right, and there we go. It's nice and smooth, nice and straight. So stick that on the table. Don't worry about these lines, because when we put the roller over it, you, you won't see them. So we'll get the super sculpey. Just try and keep it together. Again, doing the same thing, just thinning it out a little bit. Uh, what I've noticed is it's cracking quite a bit, but we'll see what happens when we stick it through. We can all stick it through again if we need to. Uh, what should we all do? Do this way. Well, that went through quite well. Not too bad. Looks like there was a couple of bubbles there, but that's not not an issue. Right, but, right, just one on the um, pasta maker. You got different uh, thicknesses you can set it to. All right, but we keep it on the, the thinnest um, setting, so we get it nice and <coughs> nice and thin. Okay. So the next stage is right, because it's quite sticky. It will stick to the table. But it'll also stick to your uh, green stuff roller. So what we're going to use is the flour just to take that tackiness off so it doesn't stick to the roller as we roll it over. We'll also put a bit of flour on the, foam, uh, the green stuff roller to stop it from sticking in all the recesses. Talcum powder would be probably better but we haven't got any so we'll use some flour. And all we're doing is just taking Rubbing it in, not pushing hard, just covering it and the edges, don't forget the edges because it will stick down a little bit. Mm. Okay, so we've smoothed that off, take as much of the excess off as you can, make it nice smooth, and then the same thing on the super sculpey because it's got the same sort of stickiness. Don't forget the edges. Now, if you hear that noise, that's just because the granules of the flour on it. If you had talcum powder, I don't think it would be as gritty. And then for the foam roller, I'm just going to put a little bit on. Not foam roller, the green stuff roller. Just going to get that all in. Yeah, sorted. Okay, and then all we're going to do is roll it, but keep even pressure on the, uh, the roller, because if you don't put even pressure in it, some parts of the the super sculpey or fine wall won't be pushed down as uh, hard so you won't get as good a relief on it so what we found is we push down and we just try and do a continuous roll like so try and keep it straight as possible and keep the green stuff roller moving and there we go so it's got see there I'll just let my finger a bit. See how that didn't take any of the the uh, the detail that part. <coughs> so between moving my hands, it's not pressed down hard enough there. So let's try it on this one. Oh, see how it's picked up there? That's not a problem. All right, just loosen it so when it pushes up, it won't be squished. Okay, that one's taking the detail a little bit. I don't know if it's just due, due, due to the colour, but yeah, that's not too bad. Sometimes you get little ridges in it, but it's not too much of a problem. So, they both seem to pick up the detail pretty well. I think the grey one looks better, but I think that's just because we're used to grey plastic, so we can see the details better. Whereas the darker one, the detail's there, but it's not as good. Now, when you've... Um, rolled it and like this black one it's not taking the, the detail as well what we found is if you take it off you've got one more chance to do it properly on the other side and then you just do the same process again <coughs> adding a bit of the problem being is the underside won't be as sticky so you have to watch for the the scalp is sticking to the foam roller, not foam roller, the green stuff roller. What is a foam roller? It's the thing I use to uh, massage muscles. 
Because <laughs> you, you are keen on saying that. Yeah, I know. I don't know. It's just because I'm not used to saying green stuff over. Yeah. Right, so let's try that one again. All right, it might stick initially, but we'll just see how it goes. No, it's not too bad. I see the detail on that, it's still not taking much there. Hmm, it's not too bad. What do you reckon? See, it's lost a bit of detail there. I'm just taking it there, so I need to get more constant, even pressure across the whole roller for it to take that um, imprint. Now, with, because we're using flour, we found that you only really get about another one chance to fold it all back together and put it through the pasta maker if you make a mistake on both sides. So what we'll do is we'll fold it back up and we'll see how we get on. We'll do it again. Okay, so we've uh, put the black through the pasta maker again. Uh, because it didn't quite work well. And we'll do the rolling again. So this time we'll make sure that we put even pressure pressure on the whole roller as we push it down. That's better. Okay, so I did put quite a bit of pressure on that. And as you can see, the details come out a hell of a lot better. A little bit there missed, but that's not too bad. However, I still think the grey is not too shabby in comparison. But I think that just may be the colour. Right, shall we Scoop put it up. on a baking sheet? I'll bring a baking sheet over. Okay, so we'll do the black one. Yeah. So taking off the uh, the sculpts from the table, we're just using the, the scraper. Just getting under there, just be careful you don't crease it. And then all we're going to do is lay them down on the grease proof paper. Oh, look at that. Super scuffly. Just slide straight off. The final is definitely stickier. There we go. So what we've done, we've cut out bits of greaseproof paper to the size of the bed of the tray so it doesn't curl up and curl your uh, uh, super scope or final and make it all bent. So we want to keep it as flat as possible because these are going to be used for the bases. All right, we're going to stick it straight in. Okay. okay. So we'll take that in our oven. It's actually cooking other ones at the moment, and we put it in for half an hour, which is 10 past uh, one just now. As you can see the other ones in there, 10 past one. Okay, so this next one we're going to try the flagstone one. So I've already got the super scalping the fine mold um, flattened out and put down, so we're just going to do the flour to take off that tackiness. Right. Again, we're using the two different materials to see which one comes out better. Take uh, as much of the excess off as we can. And then don't forget the roller. that because this one is slightly deeper than the other one. Okay, so that's it. Okay, remember, even equal pressure. So I'll do it from that end. There we go. First one.
perfect. Right, black one. Perfect. No, not quite. Still that bit there. This went all flat and it's not taking it. However, the grey one's taking it perfect the whole way, but the black one. It's taking it perfectly, but there's just a little bit that I've missed. So we can either do it again or I think that's an acceptable loss. That's the very little and we've got a lot of other bits. So So what do we think? What's what the honest think? what's the honest answer? I like the black colour because it will be if it chips or anything on the model then it's going to be black the way through, the same with the grey. The flesh ones that we did. Right, that's going to be a little bit weird when it, if it chips or anything, which it shouldn't do, but uh, the final's good, but it needs a lot more work to get it smoother. The grey one seems to show the the relief better, but I think that's just because we're used to the grey colour with the mi miniatures. Um, but the, the grey one, the super scopy, look at that, I mean that just comes straight off without any sort of pushing needed. Just at the end because I pressed on it. Whereas the super scopy, the fine one, <coughs> is a bit stickier. But I mean it still comes off, not a problem. It's just a little bit stickier. Right, so stop sitting on the fence, which one's better? Um, I think they're both as good as each other really, it just depends on what you can afford. I mean, how much is the Super Scopy? I don't think there was much in it, to mm -hmm. be honest. <clears throat> well, I'd probably go for the Super Scopy then rather than the fine. <laughs> yeah. Just because of the grey. It does look, and that's the um, extra firm um, Super yeah. Scopy. Oh, sorry, just firm. Firm grey. Yeah. Oh, that's alright. I mean, they're both, you, you, get, you get the same amount, you get a pound of each. Um, that one's just probably well, that a little bit easier to work with if you. Alright. So. Cool. Yeah. So what we've discovered is that um, the problem is getting an even uh, roll for a big long uh, length of time. So what we did is cut this lot into much more small, smaller chunks or smaller chunks, uh, so that it was the width or the length of our hand, so we could do that without having to do anything else. And the results are actually perfect. So that's a top tip, only do it in smaller um, chunks, no longer than the width of your hand so you can get guaranteed even pressure. So 